Uh, don't tell her about hijab. Stop talking to her about hijab altogether. Uh, what you do is you talk to her, or actually don't, you don't talk to her because what happens oftentimes is the, pers the people least effective with, the, with uh, da'wah are members of the family. Like they would much rather listen to a stranger and actually take their advice than listen to someone in their family. So this is actually a problem for speakers too. They can give da'wah to the world, but guess what? They got to get somebody else's tape and somebody else's CD to put in the car when they're driving. I want to hear you, I hear you enough. <laughs> right? This happens. Right? So the first thing is acknowledge that a lot of times religion, when you try to give it to your family, you have to be a little tactful. You have to be a little, you know, have more strategy, basically. Find a really good speaker about the hereafter, the day of judgment. The biggest problem for your wife, first of all, is not hijab. Hijab is a symptom, not the disease. The disease is a weakness of Iman. How do you strengthen Iman? You strengthen Iman with reminder. What's the most powerful reminder? Quran. If you look at the ayat of reminder in the Quran, what are they always talking about? The hereafter and the destruction of the people in the past. This is the powerful reminder. People that didn't listen, look at what happened to them, look at what's going to happen to them, right? If you make that a culture in the, in the family where every day, 15-20 minutes, we're going to listen to something from the Qur'an in a powerful way, right? there's plenty of, uh, of speakers and resources available nowadays that you can listen to. Take advantage of those kinds of resources and understand that you are not always the best means of da'wah to certain people. Certain people need to hear it from somewhere else. And you know, we can't make da'wah to everyone. There are some people we have an effect with, some people we're completely useless with. Right? So everybody has their audience. So inshallah ta'ala that hopefully helps you with the situation of uh, your spouse. And uh, last thing I should say about that, my, uh, my gut feeling is her problem isn't intellectual. Meaning it's not like she's not convinced it's important. It really is, she doesn't see the seriousness of obeying Allah in every last commandment. That's the real issue. Once that's resolved, hijab is going to come anyway. And among other things inshallah ta'ala.